Yeah. As investors brace for tighter Fed monetary policy over the next few months, we need you to be proactive about your portfolio. And one area of a risk that many investors need to watch are dividend paying stocks. And why is that? Which stocks may be best for you not to buy, but to drop now if you've been lovers of them? InvestorPlace.com editor Jeff Reeves has amassed a list. He's joining us now with four names to dump. We promise all four of these. They all pay out very nice dividends, but they're also widely held names. You may get some pushback here and people will be throwing tomatoes at the TV, Jeff. But first of all, why, hey, do, I need to dump, hazard list. <laughs> why do I need to dump my dividend paying stocks right now? Well, you know, let's be clear. I'm not categorically saying that you should never own dividend stocks or mm -hmm. you should only own bonds. There's always a mix going on. But I think it's important to note that a lot of income investors were pushed into dividend stocks because that was a place to be when rates were so low and when the markets had a little bit of upside to them. If you feel like the market's at an inflection point and the Fed's going to raise rates, maybe it starts with a three-handle sometime next year, then those dividend stocks that are paying 2.5% don't look all that attractive. That's not to say that they're going to go away. I mean, these stocks are never really going to go away. But you could underperform and, and your portfolio could take a hit as a result. Well, I'm looking at the 10-year yield today, 2.62%. And I can remember talking about dividends a year and a half, two years ago, when we were right around 1.6%, 1.5% for the 10 years. So you are right. We do see the yields ticking up on treasuries. So you're saying jettison now. Let's get to your first one. <sighs> I can't believe it. It's got a 3.1% <laughs> dividend. Why would I get rid of the chicken nugget name? Well, you know, McDonald's is one of these companies that everybody thinks is going to be around forever. It's like a, a token of national, uh, uh, whatever, pride, pride. of capitalism <laughs> yes. going everywhere else in China. But, you know, the problem that we saw with McDonald's last earnings report is that it missed on both the top and the bottom line. Same store sales were soft. If you look at the details, it had trouble both in North America and in Europe and in Australia and in Japan and in China. So there wasn't really a lot going for this stock right now. I mean, there's a lot working against McDonald's. Let's not say the stock's going to go away. Remember, the dividend is nice. It's, mm -hmm. it's a big name. But, you know, it's there's there's a strong dollar environment right now, which weighs on multinational earning, earnings because of the exchange rate. I mean, and, and let's face it, at home, uh, consumers aren't as, as, I guess, e eager to spend as they have been. Right. Uh, so fast food sales are taking a hit, and McDonald's isn't the healthiest option. So there are some, some bigger risks at play here. McDonald's okay. like to blame the weather for its sales, but I think there's a little bit more than that. All right. Uh, uh, so you're saying McDonald's. We just blew your next pick because we showed a lower third in advance of you saying it. So let's get right to it. Walmart, 2.4% <laughs> dividend. And you're saying get rid of Walmart, at least now. Yeah, uh, last quarter they missed their same store sales decline for the first time in two years, and it kind of harkened back to this nine consecutive quarters of same store sales declines they saw in 2009, 2011. I mean, now that was a really rough time for investors in Walmart stock. You think it's the biggest retail uh, stock out there, mm -hmm. but that's not to say that it's stable. It, it can still drastically underperform the market. You know, and we saw the same thing again. Excuses about the weather that the people weren't buying seasonal items or even income tax checks didn't come in on time. If Walmart misses again this week when it reports earnings and sees same store sales decline. I think investors are going to be pretty upset, and I don't think the stock's going to have much upside for the rest of the year. Your next pick, very widely held. Somebody's owned this at some point in every portfolio in, during their lifetime, and that's Coca-Cola. 2.8% dividend here. Why do I need to get this one out? Yeah, I mean, Warren Buffett owns lots of Coke. That's not to say that Coke is going older. away. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, when you, when you look at Coca-Cola, it's this company that's it's seen the massive build out. It is a global brand. But, you know, in the Coke numbers, too, they continue to see this this headwinds against it, not just because of the smaller stuff like currency, because it is a multinational and the dollar strong. But mm -hmm. it saw its first North American volume decline in sales in 13 years. And why do you think that is? Because obesity and diabetes are a big problem in America. And, oh, the only country fatter than us is Mexico, which is also in North America. So so it makes sense that their soda sales decline there. I mean, this isn't a stock that has a lot of uh, growth behind it because okay. of its, its the, the cola product is in demand as a health food. So I think people need to be really careful when they look at Coke and they see it as an entrenched brand. It is stable. I'll give you that. It's stable. That doesn't mean you can't underperform. We said four. Your last one is Caterpillar with a 2.9% dividend. Jeff, thank you for your picks. We'll put them up on Facebook.com slash After the Bell. We appreciate your thoughts. Again, just to be clear, he's saying get these out of your portfolio before before yields start to jump. Good to see you, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Jeff Reeves of InvestorPlace.com.